Hello, welcome. My name is Tracy. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator here in Central Victoria, Australia. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're casing from the catalogue and I'm really excited because we have a masculine card for today. It's not flowers and and rainbows, it's, it's masculine. So the stamp set that we're using is from page 147. It's called A Good Man. And I really love this stamp set. I, when I first saw the catalogue, I was drawn to this straight away. It has three really big um, great images and lots and lots of sentiments. So this stamp set is great for so many different cards um, for males. So um, if you haven't got it already, have a look because it's gonna be a really good one to have in your stash. So the card we are making today is this one down here. And how beautiful is that? Beautiful for a masculine card that is. Okay, so I'm gonna bring the card in and quickly show you as well. This one here. Isn't that great? So much detail in the back gives it a really, um, really great effect. So let's get over to the craft table and we'll get started. The supplies and tools needed for this card are the stamp set's called A Good Man. And this is one of those sets that as soon as I saw it in the annual catalog when we got it, I knew I had to have it. Um, I always struggle with the masculine cards and it's easy to buy lots and lots of flower stamp sets but it's harder to buy masculine and this one is so perfect I absolutely love it and I love the three images that's there so perfect for for any father daughter father's day just a just a masculine whether it's a birthday card or um, could be a retirement card so um, this is a really great set we're also using the rectangle stitched framelits and I am using the fourth largest. I made sure that that's the right one and that's it there. The inks, there's a fair few today. We have crumb cake, soft suede, grey granite, granny apple green, blueberry bushel and petal pink. I also have the aqua brush. We have Versamark ink and stays on ink. Now, this is watercolour paper, so because we are watercolouring, we need the stays on ink. And the Versamark is actually for the sentiment. So this one here, I actually stamped with the craft ink. But in the catalogue, they use the white embossing powder. So we're using the Versamark, the white embossing powder and the heat tool to um, create that sentiment there. And this cork actually comes from the Magnolia Lane cork embellishments and it uses one of these tags here and we're just going to fold it over the other side, emboss on it and cut it off. So that's how we got that one. I think that's all of the supplies needed. Oh, also you need just a pair of old scissors because we're going to create this great effect on the side here and I would rather use old scissors than my paper snips. I'm not sure if it, you could see that before, but we're also using the bricks and mortar uh, 3D embossing folder. And that's for this gorgeous uh, background here. And this is it here. So it's a new one in the annual catalogue. So let's get started. The card kit is a pretty easy card kit as usual. It's using Sahara Sand card base. And that's half a piece of A4 cut in half, scored in half, and I'm just going to fold and score with my bone folder. The matting piece is also crumb cake, and it's going to go over the top. And then we have a piece of watercolour paper. Now, all the measurements and supplies can be found over my blog, and there is a link to my blog in the description of this video. There is also a link to my online store, so if you were after any Stamping Up products to make this card or for another card, uh, you can purchase that through my online store. Pop in the, the hostess code for the month and I'll send you out um, a free gift, but you can also earn st uh, inky rewards on top, so which is a great incentive. You can check that out. All the information is over on my blog. So we're going to start off uh, with these two pieces here. We're going to bring the big shot in and do some of our... Uh, die cutting and embossing. So we're going to emboss first and I've opened my tab up to the right um, tab. Now this is one of our new embossing folders so I'm going to bring in 
that piece of cardstock laid inside. I'm going to pop that down on top so there is no um, cutting plate there already. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this one down and then I'm going to stick about five or six bits of cardstock. This is just shim to create a shim. I'm going to stick that over the top and then I'm going to stick my cutting plate on top of that as well. Okay, let's run that one through and see what impression we get. Now you're going to have to just try out using your die cutting machine to see which one or how many pieces of shim you need because every big shot is different, the tension is different and the only way is to do it is to just give it a try. I think I could do a little bit more impression so I'm going to close that back up again. I'm going to put a few more bits of cardstock down try and get a little bit more of an impression than that. Let's see if that worked. Much better. So you can see all that impression there. That has so much detail, it's really, really pretty. So we're going to open the big shot up to do some die cutting. Let's stick my... These are new plates, so it just sticks to everything. It's really staticky. I'm going to stick that down over the top. I'm going to bring my watercolour piece in with that uh, stitch rectangle framework. Then I just pop that one through needed my second cutting mat to go on top. And that gives us that There's that nice detail with that framework. So we can get rid of the big shot. Let's work on the watercolour uh, paper. We're going to bring in the stays on ink. And this is a permanent ink that we can use with the water. And I'm going to ink up that stamp. Making sure I've got good even coverage. I'm going to stamp him down in the middle. Beautiful. Now stays on ink has a little protective barrier. Make sure you pop that back on. Um, stays on dries out super fast if you don't put the lid back on. Now I'd like to leave this little piece to dry just for a couple of minutes. So let's work on that cork embellishment piece. And we're going to bring in the Versamark ink in and stamp that sentiment. the whisper white. I've lost my nails on those two fingers and it's those nails that you do a lot with. Gonna add our white embossing powder to that. It's not really straight but that's okay. Now bring the heat tool in and we're just going to heat that up. Okay, so that's definitely um, a little bit easier to read than just with the Whisper White. I'm going to bring in my scissors and I'm just going to cut that around so it's a nice little square.
there we go. So all the elements have been done. We're just going to do some water coloring. So I'm gonna bring each of those colors in. I am gonna fast forward this process because I'm just doing quick and easy water coloring. I'm not doing anything with technique. Um, I'm just coloring it in. So I'm gonna start off with petal pink. Blueberry bushel for his trousers. Soft suede I'm using for the little boy's hair as well as the dad's trousers. And crumb cake was actually for the dad's pants, but let's go over it and see what it looks like. So the dad's shirt was a little wet. I just wanted to make sure that was completely dry before I put this little blue ring around the whole center. So bringing the blueberry bushel back in, and what I want to do is I want to get a really light color on the edge. I'm just going to go around, just popping a little bit of water down into that. Just had to change out, my barrel was empty. So I'm just going to go in and bringing a little bit up. Careful not to go too close to the edge. I don't want to blend those colors in together. I've made sure that that's all dry too before we start popping the card all together. Bringing our embossed piece in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my scissors, I'm going to open them up and I'm going to distress the edges. Now, this is something that I really like doing. I think it gives great interest onto the card. Really easy to do. And I keep these scissors um, out to do this on my card so I'm not blunting my paper snips because let's face it, that's exactly what we're doing to the scissors, we're blunting them. So you still wanna be fairly gentle with your card. gives a really awesome effect there. Leaves a bit of a mess too. So let's pop this card all together. It's really easy to do. We're going to glue the watercolor piece down onto the embossed one. Bring that nice and centered. 
Probably should have used tear and tape just because it's watercolour paper. That should be right. I'm going to bring some dimensionals in and pop a couple of dimensionals on the back of that foam piece. I'm popping that one up. And let's pop this whole piece, the whole matting up as well. It's a really quick card once you've got all your layers done. I think the thing that takes the longest is probably the watercolouring and that really doesn't take that long to do. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed today's card. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and I'd love it if you left a comment. I'd also really appreciate if you could um, share my video. Um, that would be fantastic. I'd love to have a few more people view my videos. Um, all the measurements and supplies can be found over my blog and there is a link to that blog post in the description of this video. There's also a link to my online store if you are in need of any Stamping Up supplies and you live in Australia and you don't already have a demonstrator, um, I can help you out with that. Um, don't forget if you are placing an order you can do it online um, at home and just pop in that hostess code and I can send you out a free gift as well. So until next time have a wonderful day and I hope to see you all very soon. Bye bye.